Quinn Ewers got a chance to meet with the media yesterday. New look and all. Got the new haircut. That Looks like he's going in the military. T- turns him into a different man, he says. All that kind of stuff. So it's really good. And I, I, I like I said, there's a lot of great stuff here. So I think the first thing we'll start with is the cut where he's being asked about... Uh, okay. <laughs> the music's so, still playing. He's excited about Quinn Ewers, too. Everybody's excited about it. That's what that was. Uh, but he was being asked about the biggest difference between year one and... And year two for him um, in this system as the starting quarterback for Texas. Here is Quinn Ewers. Mainly just the knowledge of the offense, because um, this year, this time last year, I was still, you know, trying to to pick up, you know, the offense and, and certain checks and whatnot and stuff like that. And this year, it's kind of I can just kind of be more me and, and play more freely, um, and you know, not have to think as much about, you know, what what does this guy have? It just automatically clicks. Which is which is huge for my position because I can you know focus more on fronts and keeping myself protected. Uh, there you go. So he's talking about basically his familiarity with the system. He knows it better now. And Sark commented on that too that he knows the system a lot better now, and he the the decisions are a lot a lot more crisp and quick. All right, a, a quicker reaction, and uh, just seems like his process has sped up, and it should because now he's not learning the system as he's going he knows the system and now we're talking about muscle memory and we're talking about going out there playing and letting your instincts take over and that's what you're saying he's got great instincts i mean that's where the upside and the projection is is for him yeah playing not thinking and if you're not thinking then it's just then that arm talent can come forward right the flick of the wrist the you know the quick throw that you know is on a line and we saw that i feel like before he got hurt in the alabama game where he wasn't thinking you said as you said yesterday and we we know coming out of that game got a lot of man coverage from nick saban in that game and mm-hmm. didn't have a lot to read just make the throw just make it just throws. make that throw and they were beautiful throws and then you saw as the season went on the more coverages he saw in different just disguise coverages he saw the more he was thinking and the more oh boy and Had now the process. What, the yeah. process now what am i going to do and it looked uh, worse and worse as it went on but uh, yeah i mean that's it, it, the more he gets comfortable going through progressions, and as you pointed out behind the burn orange curtain earlier in the week, if they're going to go empty set and go five wide sometimes, uh, that, that coverage leads to a, you know, just find your mismatch, play exactly. point guard, it's pre- it's, distribute. Exactly. It cleans everything up for him. Uh, he was also asked about leadership because he now understands, especially with Bijan gone, Rojo gone, he's got to be the leader. Everybody's looking to him at a natural leadership position. Um, here's Quinn Ewers uh, discussing his leadership role with the team. It's definitely a lot easier, um, especially – Whenever you're filling in to kind of a leadership role, you know, people will look at you a little differently whenever you're telling them what to do and and whatnot. And it's, it's cool, honestly. You know, football is a cool game. Um, you know, I kind of like to call it the quarterback. You're like, at quarterback, kind of feel like, you know, I'm playing like a more maybe violent, you know, more active chess kind of. So, you know, I'm trying to, trying to beat the defense with, with certain moves. Now, that's interesting. Violent I, chess. I swear, I don't. You guys have heard me say it. I talk about the chess match within the game. Sure. Constantly. Like I think I referred to it probably once a show. I <laughs> talk about the chess match within the game, and he's talking about that. Ch- I wonder where he got the term from. Something tells me he got it from Sark. And if he got it from Sark, I wonder if now Sark is thinking about the chess match within the game. It's great that he's looking at football on that level. Um, like kind of Neo in the Matrix. <laughs> if you can see the 3D chess that's being played, it's just chess you know, with, with human beings. <laughs> and he's looking at it that way. He was asked about this. I believe this is uh, Jeff Jones, if I'm not mistaken, who is asking him about that to, to elaborate, to expound upon that, that chess match he's talking about. Here's Quinn Ewers talking about the, the chess match and trying to be that chess master. Yeah, it's 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 a it's a chess match against the whole defense. You know, whether it's safeties rolling down and I got to check a protection, or or it's linebackers doing whatever. It's just it's just it's you got to make you got to make it fun. You know, it's a kid's game. And what's the last thing maybe it happened today uh, that you remember doing? And after the play, you were like, I got him. I won that chess game. Yeah, um, I would say I would say it was today. We had a we were in a a tight end set. Um, he was attached. And, you know, I, I saw double outside pressure and I checked the protection and was able to get a completion. I mean, sometimes checking a, checking a, checking a protection, it's almost better than throwing a touchdown pass sometimes. But the guys behind. Ooh, that is music to my ears. Sometimes checking the correct protection is better than throwing a touchdown pass. Okay. 
I, I got. I, I'm, I'm thinking I might be all on board with with Quinn Wick now. That that is a mature statement for a quarterback, <laughs> because I think last year he was obsessed with the big arm throws and making the uh, spectacular plays, and he kind of forgot about the everyday fundamentals, right? Which are footwork, <laughs> which are you know what I mean, uh, being able to uh, process and read the defense correctly. I think a lot of his game was trying to be more flashed and substance, and that sounds to me like a guy that's about substance. That is going back to footwork and mechanics and the things that matter the most, like setting the right protection, the mental process, the chess match within the game. He's saying all the right things. It's on paper now, but this is a different – he is definitely a different quarterback than he was last year. Well, it's interesting. If you've seen the first episode of Hard Knocks, you hear Aaron Rodgers talking to the young quarterback, Zach Wilson, about that very thing. Because Aaron, somehow Aaron Rodgers has become like the mentor <laughs> uh, in that. In Jeff he Camp. better. If, if Zach Wilson's an idiot, if he doesn't mm-hmm. try to gain well, some they, that knowledge. They, they did a brief little thing about no-look passes, right, and the ability to look one way and throw the mm-hmm. other, and Zach Wilson was doing it. But then at one point they're stretching, and, and Aaron Rodgers says to him, look, no-look passes are cute, but getting your protection set is a non is non negotiable, right? Mm, yep. Essentially exactly. Saying, I mean, you can, you can you can be cute with those throws, but if you don't get your protection right, it's not going to be mad. Or you're going to get ear holed, uh, and you're going to you know a play that could work is not going to work because you didn't read the defense and set the right protection. Uh, that's that's what Quinn yours is saying. Look, I mean, if mm-hmm. if I get the protection right and Sark has the right play drawn up, it's a touchdown. If not, it's a sack and maybe worse. You know, that's what we've mm-hmm. got to evolve to. And to hear Aaron Rodgers talking to a young quarterback in the NFL about the very same thing. Um, you know, takes you behind the scenes, behind the burn orange curtain of how yep. how that works at the line of scrimmage. That's a great cut, though. That might be one of my favorite cuts. I, I got a lot of favorite Quinn cuts from this offseason, the Quinn Wick thing, but that's a damn good one. That yep. is really good. Can we play one more? Can yeah, we play one more? Sure. Um, okay, so this he's back being asked about his diet. Remember the photo they tweeted out about all the the quarterbacks and they were shirtless and they were showing off the abs and six pack and all that kind of stuff down to and, 195 Quinn and Will Malik, yes he is so and he, he played about 218 last year yeah he at the bowl game they said he was at 218 and you go look at him now and he's got the haircut but he's he's sleek and you saw in there Malik Murphy looks like a some, something out of an X-Men movie. but Superhero. Uh, yeah, he does. Uh, but Quinn was asked about the diet and changing his diet, and here is Quinn Ewers being asked about, you know, what led to that body transformation. Yeah, I mean, I laid off the Chick-fil-A that I was having a lot. <laughs> I'm a big Chick-fil-A fan. Um, and, you know, just not as much fast food. I was more focused on, you know, eating what, what the university provides, um, you know, high higher – Doses of protein, less carbs, um, you know, more vegetables, just just the healthy stuff, man. Nothing, nothing too much to it besides just trying to eat healthier. That is a great commercial for Chick Fil A. I mean, he just basically did an endorsement for Chick Fil A without even doing one. Aaron, Aaron <laughs> does he not sound just like your son Nolan? Yeah, he does. He sounds like my son Nolan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The same to me. He does. He does. Actually, I, I haven't thought that. about it. Yeah, that's interesting. I hadn't either until you just said it, but now it's going to freak me out. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't thought about it, but actually, uh, now I'm, yeah. yeah. Same Good mannerisms, point. like with the voice. Yeah, they. Yeah, but the, but if he's like Nolan, he's a, he's a deep thinker too. Yeah. He's a deep, deep. He doesn't maybe come across as a deep thinker, but he is. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. Shadowy deep thinker. Sounds I like, like that. Sounds uh, like it. Yeah. Well, you yeah, know, no Chick Fil A. Hey, so he doesn't eat a lot of fat, fat I don't food. Eat I, I eat Chick. I eat Chick Fil A. But, but if you talk that. to fast food eaters, they say, "Well, Chick Fil A is healthy. Chick Fil A is like healthy food." Yeah, not really. I don't know if it's fried. No, it's it's like, a fried well, fried is- chicken. <laughs> it, it gives you because they're closed on Sundays and they're very sanitary. Yeah. People are like, "Oh, it's healthy." It's like it's fried chicken. So <laughs> you get the love, grilled. You get the grilled chicken sandwich. You can. They got salads, but I great. I love you, most of their money is made on fried chicken. I love uh, the programming that Chick Fil A has. People thinking that they're healthy, it's healthier, not, healthier. As far food. as in the in the fast food space i just think it's cleaner <laughs> i don't know if it's healthier oh, it's, not Taco Bell. it's cleaner and you feel better about yourself because they're uh they're 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 about the lord and that's <laughs> right they're uh you know they're closed on sundays so you know they practice what they have preach. a blessed day they practice what they preach i would say they also have the best customer service out of any fast foods in the country my well, pleasure exactly my pleasure. Like, that's what it is you ever you have they ever gotten an order wrong you ever no. see how guilty they well, they're no. running people through there with three lines going oh, and it's they, a machine if, man. if they get an order wrong they feel so guilty they give you that they tell you to keep that and then they come back with lots of coupons and other stuff they've got an order wrong once in my i don't know 
10, 15 years. They I've did recently uh, get rid of the option to have a crispy, well done option on the sandwich. Oh no! So a little coming up. Oh, I didn't know that. Really coming up in our morning. Uh, Ian Rod B. Hmm. Facts of the day. I'll give you a fact. I can I can tie a football coach to Chick Fil A coming back with a fact.